Obviously, uh, we knew that that would be the case, but they really have left out so many players that one would doubt whether the bookies would like to have them favourites at the moment. Carey, Swass, Anderson, Armstrong, McKernan, Capuano, Archer and Martin all missing. But more importantly for North supporters, there are some excellent names there on the screen and uh, North will be looking for some of the players to really establish themselves uh, right from the start of the season. And there are the Ds wearing their new pre-season Guernseys and also some of their stars are being rested. Gary Lyons not playing, but their first three in the best and fairest of last year are all playing Steins, Neitz and uh, Primke. Against you many, many years ago. Yeah, in fact, he knocked me out. It was terrific. But uh, Melbourne are playing a lot of their senior players, as Drew said. Good to see Jimmy Steins out there so early as we see the bounce of the ball and then little Anthony Rock very early in the piece charging it after their number three. And, uh, well, it is early in the season, but once the players get out in the ground, Drew, they're very, very competitive. And the wind is ripping right to left with rain falling at Waverley and Melbourne going with it in the first quarter. The interchange bench is pretty crowded with six per team on the bench. That's little Farmer, number 33 for Melbourne, in after the ball. King gets there on all fours. Fleance is the umpire. Farmer gets the hand pass out. Hop good for Melbourne. Gets the kick inside the 50. Mark dropped by Fairley of North Melbourne. Chance for Sean Smith to move it on for the Ds. And a chance here. Snapped by Farmer as a goal. Not strictly a ruckman in these conditions. And that was a little bit of a trip the umpire saw there. He awarded uh, kicking in danger, how we might describe it. He's just on his shoulder. Lost the Guernsey, David King, and hurt the shoulder. He certainly landed very oh, heavily on it. Let's just have a look at this. It's a sling. Something that perhaps David Levens uh, may consider would be uh, illegal, but can't take everything out of the game. But, Lenny, but it would have been three points. And there's Johnny Longmire on screen. Umpire throwing it up quickly. Uh, players still trying to keep it in play, of course. There's Farmer, lost it in the tackle. Or oh, this could be holding the man to Melbourne. Did he have the ball? No, the umpire said he didn't. So it will be a Melbourne free kick right on a difficult angle. It'll be Sean Smith. And he will have to kick under these conditions. It still won't be an easy kick. You can imagine in kick to kick at school, Sean Smith would be up one end by himself and everybody <laughs> down the other end. I think all football clubs have a guy like that. You always get to the other end. So here's Smith. From about 25 metres. Oh, loud beautifully for the breeze. And this is a goal. A little bit like the Irish series, they would have just run four players on the ball for ten minutes and then interchanged them with another four on balls. Well, I think North have used it a lot. I don't think Melbourne have used it uh, hardly at all. <coughs> North Melbourne go forward. Great play by Allison. Hopgood bowled over in that one. No, it's Jeff Hilton. Taken too and high. Hilton will take the free kick in the back pocket. Dangerously oh. across the face of goal. Hopgood was good enough to beat his opponent. And the kick by Hopgood clears the 50. Good hands. Excellent mark taken in the wet conditions by David King. It's about three kicks to goal from there. And there's the siren to complete the first half. 17 and a half minutes plus time on. North Melbourne had a gale in the first quarter and they kicked three goals, three to North. Melbourne kicked three, three to North Melbourne, nothing. And we'll take on the rucking for the Demons. And North, who weren't able to score in the first half, not surprisingly, now have a hurricane at their backs, and they trail by 21 points. And the other big surprise from the first half, uh, Drew, I guess, was the amount of time on, with over five minutes of time on by the 17 and a half minute quarter, and quite incredible. And by Gavin Dore gets us underway for the second half, and Irving gets the first hit out for the Demons. Any score by Melbourne into the breeze in this, or into the wind in this half, would just about win the game you'd reckon. Not a bad attempt to mark. Sock it off the ground. Yeah, they haven't scored in the matches yet. Obst has it for Melbourne. Look at that rain. Wouldn't be surprised if it's hail and even snow. Snowed at Falls Creek today. Here's Craig Scholl. Through the rain he goes. Not a bad kick by Scholl. Well done. North's first score. Outstanding goal by Craig Scholl. It's North Melbourne in it uh, slightly, but uh, Melbourne are working so hard. They're going to be hard to beat Stuart Cochran, that was, with the kick uh, forward. Here's Glenn Lovett. Gets in a hand pass. Well done to Marcus Seacamp. 
quick kick was by Stephen Phoebe. Oh, some courage shown there. Who was that racing in our number 30? I think that was Adam Simpson for North who really went in hard after that. Now that's right, David, a, a ball up on that occasion. Yes. So Irving did the ruck with Glenn Lovett. He likes to get a kick, Glenn Lovett. Here's Rock. Anthony Rock can't pick it up. Cowell is at the bottom of that pack. A five calling play on. That was Trent Nichols getting it out to Rock. And uh, Rock brings it to the half forward line. It's no mark. It clears the pack. Players charging in after it again. Oh, how the, the umpire sensibly called play on then. There was no free kick. Melbourne players off back over. Here's Clarkson again. Alistair Clarkson. No mark taken. North with a chance. A quick hand pass. Around the corner with a kick goes Welsh in front of goal. And it has gone through for a behind. This time Neat's caught behind and fairly takes the mark. Just under five minutes left. Two goals can win it for North Melbourne. They're the competition favourites. And uh, later on in the series, we might see the Careys and the Longmires play. But they need these youngsters to get up in the first round. And time is running out. Freeborn. Long kicking from Fairley and a strong mark, just straight up in the air. Great hand, great mark under these conditions. And the kick by Freeborn comes back on the wind and goes through for a goal. Open and no one to form of Port Adelaide. So there's Irving with a with a big two and a half minutes left in this game. There's Craig Scholl who kicked a great goal earlier. Oh, oh he's, he's kicked another one. North Melbourne in front. Dennis Pagan and it's February the 9th. Slowed down. Face yourself through the season. North Melbourne in front for the first time. We haven't had a score at the right hand end all night, and Melbourne are going to have to break that drought if they're going to snatch this game. Freeborn goes off the ground. Sampson and Freeborn's kick wasn't touched by anybody else. February, we're playing a, uh, a strange game here, but it doesn't matter. If that scoreboard is close and it's at the end of the game, you sit on the edge of your seat. And how much time on have we had in this game? And how much sudden death are we going to get? Might take a while, the next score. So as we said, there's Neil Baum and Barry Richardson, former uh, Richmond stars there. Melbourne have probably looked the better side, actually. There's Welsh kicking it down towards half foot. Here's Orman Allen. Oh, he went for a flying kick and missed it. So North with a chance. Freeborn. No, can't didn't. get his boot to it. Oh, gee, Melbourne are desperate. Here's Allison having a kick at goal. Did he, he score? He scored. North Melbourne have won. That point has won the game for North Melbourne. There's the siren. Oh, boy, Dennis Pagan by the skin of your teeth. Well, Barry Breen was a legend for kicking a point in 1966. I'm not sure Brett Allison will be as big a legend for this point, but uh, still, these players are the world wrap because we have seen war out there for about uh, half an hour. Make no mistakes, those players went 100%. Well, Brett Allison getting the winner about three minutes into sudden death, which broke the deadlock here, and the very first game in the Lightning Premiership has been a ripper. North, 3-5-23, Melbourne, 3-4-22.